Hi, welcome everybody. Today's LYL session from Amita Care. Today we're doing healthy grilling with the lovely Carrie Watkins Webb. Welcome, Carrie. Hi, everyone. Thank you for having me. So today we're going to do some uh, healthy grilling. She's going to show us uh, a couple of things that we can uh, healthy alternatives to grilling, and then also. Um, it's great for the summer that's coming up. Uh, you, the weather's warming up. Great time to get out and start grilling instead of fogging up your house with all the with all the other stuff, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. So, with with uh, without uh, being said, uh, Carrie, you can take it take it away. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Carrie, also known as the Sugarless Sister. And I'm here to bring you some healthy grilling ideas that are not only delicious, but they're economical. So a lot of times people ask me, well, how can I eat healthy on a budget? Everything is so expensive. So we're gonna talk today as I cook about ways that you could cut back on the cost and yet still have a healthy and nutritious meal. And so we're gonna be grilling a few different items today. And so to get started, we're gonna be talking about fish. So Memorial Day is around the corner and who's ready to go outside, barbecue, grilling, eat some delicious food? Cause I know I am. I am. But I'm in Queens, New York and I have a, a asphalt jungle outside. <laughs> and so I wanna just let you know, so even if you can't have the outdoor grill going, you could still cook from, inside your home um and i'm going to be using a grill pan so i'm going to move this down so you can see what we're working with so this is a, a grill pan um it was it was pretty affordable i think i got it for 49 dollars and so we're going to be using that and then also i'm going to be using this heavy <laughs> cast iron grill pan so this works well too and an indoor setting. So we're gonna be talking about things that you can do. And I'd like to hear from you also, put comments into the chat. Let me know whatever you wanna say, comment on, because there's a lot that you all can offer too about grilling. So, okay. So, but to begin, we're gonna be cooking fish tacos. And we're gonna be talking about how to make the tacos, the different sauces that go with it, and so I see somebody put in the tech chat. Oh, fish taco recipe. Okay, yes. So the, all the recipes um, are gonna be in the chat. So you can avail yourself to them, but I chose tilapia. So tilapia is very low in fat, high in protein. And so, and it's very economical. So I got these two pieces, two large pieces for under $5. And so this could feed, this could make four tacos. So you could have four servings of the taco. So um, now sometimes people are concerned about tilapia because um, typically it's farmed. And so what that means is that it's grown um, in cramped surroundings and all the fish are on top of each other. But you could check the source. There are certain um, countries that it comes from that it's okay, Ecuador, Indonesia, certain communities, it's okay. So check the source on that. Um, but you could also use, if you don't want to use tilapia, you could use cod, a little bit more expensive, um, mahi, mahi, any kind of white fish, okay? So high in protein, low in fat, low in cost. All right, so I'm going to heat up my grill pan. Let me plug it in. And I'm putting it to medium heat, about 300. And while it's heating up, I'm going to coat the fish with a little base that I made, a barony. I'm gonna put it in a Ziploc bag, good old Ziploc. So I'll put the two pieces of fish in here. And I made a marinade. In this marinade, I have something, I didn't wanna use oil, so, cause we're cutting down on the fat. Um, and so I use something called coconut aminos. That's not in the recipe, but coconut aminos, and you can get it in a lot of places. Um, and it's an alternative to soy sauce, but it doesn't contain 
any of the unhealthy estrogens that soy typically has. So coconut aminos, it doesn't taste like coconut. Um, I have that, I have a little cumin, I have a little um, chili pepper sauce, and I'm gonna put that into my bag, a little lime. And I'm just gonna coat the fish. Really good, shake it around. And I'm gonna put it to the side for a little bit. So while that's cooking, I figure, well, I might as well do some asparagus. So asparagus, easy to make and cooks quickly. It takes a little bit longer than the fish. So I'm gonna put this on fish first. So these are just asparagus spears. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna drizzle them and a little olive oil. Let me move my pan a little over. All right. I'm just gonna drizzle a few in olive oil and a little garlic powder. And that's it. It doesn't really need much. Some people want just salt and pepper. Okay. Just a little bit to coat them around. Carrie, are there any alternatives as far as like oil to use besides olive oil? I know olive oil is very good, healthy fat. But uh, yeah, you, you know what? Um, for this, uh, you can use grapeseed oil. A lot of times it's just a little bit more expensive, but that's a very good oil. With the thing with oils is that you want to get one that's the least processed. Mm -hmm. And so grapeseed oil, coconut oil um, is good. Not necessarily for this recipe, but I would say grapeseed oil, one, walnut oil, avocado oil, any of those are fine. And so, all right, so I'm just gonna put these on. They're gonna take a little bit longer. And if you want the grill marks, typically you would put them in the other direction, but I'm gonna need all of that area for my fish. So I'm just gonna put a few spears on here and it'll be done by the time the fish is done. All right, so typically to marinate, the marinade that I make typically, oh, you would want to have it for about a half an hour, but I wanted to show you how to make it. And I'm going to put this on now. So yeah, typically if you could have it for like a half an hour marinating, that would be optimal, but I'm gonna put this on, oh, lower my screen. Can you put it on for, can you have it marinating for a longer time than just a half an hour? Sure, or? sure. Okay. Yeah, the longer the better. So, okay. So. I have my beautiful fish cooking towel. So I'm gonna put the cover down and I'm gonna set the timer for three minutes because I lose track of time. So in three minutes, I'm gonna turn it over. All right, so while that's cooking, I'm going to make something else. I'm gonna make a healthy slaw. So with the healthy slaw, it's made of cabbage, but the thing about whole slaw that gets us in trouble is the mayonnaise. So we're gonna make a healthy slaw without the mayonnaise, okay? Here's my bowl. Here's my cabbage. So this is just shredded green cabbage. You can use purple or red. So I just have shredded green cabbage. Put this in the bowl. This is two cups. And I'm gonna have one cup of shredded carrots. Okay. And And to that, let me move this down so you can see. All right. Okay. So, and to that, I'm going to use a little olive oil. I already made it olive oil with about a half a teaspoon of cumin and a half a teaspoon of salt. Okay. I'm going to add that. Okay. 
And if you want, you can add some minced garlic to it too. Uh, yeah, why don't I do that? Let me get the minced garlic. So, about a teaspoon of minced garlic. And that's it. And I'm gonna use my tongs and I'm gonna to toss it around. And we're going to be putting this inside our taco. We're gonna add this to the fish. So you can have it as a side dish. You could also add nuts. The recipe that is going to be provided, it has um, toasted pepitas that you can use. My husband doesn't like that, so we're not having it. <laughs> so, but this is just really simple and it tastes good. Some people add apple cider vinegar. Some people like a little bit more sweet. Some people add maple syrup. So the sky's the limit, um, but this is just a nice, easy dressing or foundation for your fish taco. Okay, so I'm gonna put this to the side. And something else that we're gonna be making today is pico de gallo. We're gonna put that on our fish taco also. How many people like pico de gallo? I yeah. never heard of it, nor oh, tried it. okay. So yeah, I'm gonna tell you, okay, so. It's very yummy. It's very yummy. So I'm going to turn my fish to three minutes up. I'm gonna turn my fish, check on my asparagus. All right. You know what, I'm gonna use a spatula. So, so that it doesn't fall apart. All right, nice, all right. I'm gonna move this down so you can see. Nice grill marks. So our fish is doing well, turn this piece over. I'm gonna make that tomorrow night because I have the tilapia in the fridge. Yeah. And, over. yeah, and it's so That's easy. Night. That looks mm -hmm. so good right now. Yes. You're making me hungry. <laughs> Almost done. All right, so another three minutes. Let me put my timer on while we make the pico de gallo. That's the good thing about the fish too, right? It's cooked so quick. Yes. yes. So yeah. if you don't want to wait for like the like the chicken and the pork chops and stuff like right. that, the fish goes right. Right. Yeah. You have to <laughs> clean, clean it. Like, yeah, clean the other meat. Yeah, a lot of times we come home and we're so tired and that's what happens. That's where we run into problems because if we didn't prep something the night before, we're at the mercy of the nearest grub hub, you know? <laughs> so mm -hmm. we call an order or we stop by on the way home. So this is something that's quick. You can, you can prepare really quickly. And you see, I didn't marinate it long. So for the pico de gallo, what I did was I got some Roma tomatoes and I cut them up. And it was really, really easy. These are two tomatoes, okay? So I just diced those. And we're gonna add to that some yellow onion. Some people like green onion. Um, so that's that's a that's a little less than a quarter cup. So hubby doesn't like onions that much. So we but you can put more. <laughs> so I put a little bit less just to give you an idea. So I have my onions and have my garlic, minced garlic. And oh, it's smelling good. And I have my cilantro. Yum, yum, yum. So yes. Cilantro that we're adding. Okay. Oh, move it down. All right. So I'm adding this. Uh, can you see? Um, so I have the tomatoes, the onions, the garlic, and now I'm going to add the cilantro. I'm just going to give that a stir. Let me see. You can see. All right. And that's it. This is your pico de gallo. You may want to add some lime sauce. But this is, and you know what? This is so easy to make and it sells in the stores for about $4 for a small mm -hmm. little container, but it costs so little to make it on your own. 
and it keeps in the fridge for about about a week some people freeze it um you may also want to add a little salt to this this is like a taco staple anything taco you need to have me too like me too it. me too yeah me too. so i added a little salt to it do you add do you add hot peppers for a kick Oh yes, you know, jalapenos, yes. Yeah. Some people add jalapenos. Yes, you definitely. Mm -hmm. That's or part of the recipe. Or a little scotch bonnet, just a little. Oh, you like yes. it hot? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm getting hot just thinking about it, but yes. So, so this is it. So this is so definitely you could add the jalapeno peppers, scotch bonnet, and that's it. That's our pico de sauce. And it's fresh, because when you buy it from the store, God knows how long it's sitting on that shelf. Exactly, and what preservatives they put mm -hmm. into it, right, to keep it. Okay, so now I'm gonna check on the fish again. All right, I just wanna talk to y'all, I just have to forget that I, remember that I have to show y'all at the same time, okay. It's so All pretty. Right. So our fish is done, so I'm gonna get the spatula. And I'm just taking look, I'm just taking pictures of the uh, recipe. <laughs> yes. Okay, so because I'm making it tomorrow, definitely. Oh, good, good, good. Let me know how it turns out. Because uh, I have all I have all these greens at home. Oh wow. All right. I'm putting it on the plate. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. I broke this little fella off. Okay. It's okay. And so. And this is enough for four tacos. All right, so. And our asparagus should be ready. So I'm just gonna use the tongs and I'm gonna take that up. And then, yeah, so. And that's really easy. All right, so we have part of our dish is almost done. So we have the fish and the asparagus. I'm gonna put this to the side. We have our coleslaw salad and we have our pico de gallo. So we are cooking with gas. All right. So now I actually wanna show you two things. I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna use the grill pan for this. I'm gonna unplug this and I'm gonna switch places with the grill pan and this, all right. So I wanted to also show you how you can grill and make a dessert. So we're gonna make a dessert and a beverage, okay? So, see, that was so fast, right? It was. Oh, you know what? Uh, let me heat up, hmm. I also wanted to talk about, I have the taco vehicle. Now, I might as well do this while the pan is hot. <laughs> So this, I chose, this is carb savvy tortillas made with whole wheat, okay? And this has 45 calories, but more important than the calories is it's very low carb. So it has nine grams of carbs, whereas most tortillas have a lot more, but you can choose. So I'm gonna put this down onto the pan get a little heat okay and i want to show you something else but some of you may prefer um this kind of shell i don't no, know i don't i, I hate those <laughs> some people like a little crunch to their no, towel no. so i have this as an alternative so um but i just read only doritos <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, okay but just the difference with the corn and the whole wheat one this one has 15 grams of carb for one shell so it okay. makes a big difference right mm -hmm. um and this has 130 calories that have 45 so oh, big, difference, yeah. big difference right so so we try and let's talk about cost so so far let me flip this over okay so so far the fish, I got two pieces for less than five dollars. I got the coleslaw, but I had a whole list. Um, no, the cabbage was two fifty six. The tortillas 
there's 17 sets of each because they came in a pack. <laughs> um, the asparagus, oh, the asparagus was $2.98 a bunch. And am I, and is that everything? Yeah. Now, another thing that we're going to make for our tacos is the fish sauce. Okay. So, and with that, we're going to be using some Greek yogurt. So I just took a quarter of a cup of Greek yogurt and I added to it three tablespoons of mayonnaise. You could use light mayonnaise if you want. Um, and I added a little bit of water and a little bit of salt. That's it. So it's kind of runny. So when we formulate our taco, we can put this over it because sometimes, you know, it could be a little dry without it. Even though we have the tomatoes from the pico de gallo, the fish sauce is also a nice addition. So we have that working for us over there. I want to show you something else that you can use. If you don't want to use the dairy, um, there's something else you can use. And this I like a lot. And this is uh, an aioli sauce. This is a garlic aioli sauce. So this has a nice taste. So it's different um, from the yogurt kind of, oh, you could also put dill in it, uh, but it's different from that type of taste. So it depends on what you like, but this is a nice taste too. So this was a little bit more costly than the yogurt sauce, but. You have a question. Can you use vegan mayonnaise? Sure, you can. Uh, you just play with the, the textures and the taste to make sure, you know, to see how it works, like with everything else. I made um, tuna fish the other day with some avocado mayonnaise. I got to work on that. <laughs> I, was, I was so excited. I was so sure that it was going to work. But I have to really play with that. So I want everybody to play with it <laughs> because otherwise you'll say, you'll try it once and say, oh no, this doesn't work. It can't work. You just gotta work with the, the and taste before you put it on your taco too. Yeah, exactly. taste first. <laughs> taste you, just gotta, first. you just gotta know how to dock it up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we have, this is nice and warm. I'm going to actually leave the shell in there and I'm going to switch places. I'm going to move this grill pan over. Okay, let's see. So that we could get to our dessert. All right, so Perry, not burn yourself. Okay. Okay. All right. Ugh. <laughs> so Harry, it looks like it, it'll be light right oh my god that's a plug-in yeah so this i love this so this plugs in because i do a lot of demonstrations live and so you never know what kind of facility you're gonna be working in or if you're outdoors like the last event that we had we were outdoors so i carried so this is good the only thing that you have to keep in mind with this is that you have to have a pan or a pot that is induction ready so okay yeah and you can put a magnet on the bottom of your pot to make sure that it is so this is my grill pan my cast iron grill pan so i love it um and again if you don't have the luxury of having an outdoor grill space um you can grill at home and make just as beautiful concoctions so i have this grill pan let me move this down Okay, so what we're going to be making today is grilled pineapple. How many pineapple mm, skins do I have? Favorite. Ah, okay. Pineapple and peach is grilled. It's so good. Yes, yes. I don't know about no, grilled pizza. pineapple. pineapple is good. Pizza, but I yeah. love pineapple. <laughs> Something about the caramelization of it, it just, yes. it just makes it so good. I've never, I don't think I've ever tried it like that. It's you, good. You try it and you will not go back. <laughs> yes. So, and it's so easy to make. And I'm just going to spray the pan a little bit. Um, and so I want to talk a little bit about the ingredients. So we talked about the fact that the tilapia fish is a white fish that's high in protein, low in fat, uh, and low in cost. Um, and it's full of a lot of vitamins. So 
that and now pineapple pineapple is wonderful as a wonderful fruit so it's very high in vitamin c it's an antioxidant it's anti-inflammatory so not only are we making something that's delicious uh, we're also making something that's going to benefit our body so um so pineapple is great so and you know i told you i was the sugarless sister so a lot of times i'm just relying on the sweetness from the pineapple so a lot of times people would add brown sugar or white sugar to it so we're just going to use cinnamon and a little bit of coconut oil okay so and see how it tastes of course it's not going to be as sweet but you really you really don't need it so i'm just going to spray this pan a little bit and um so and i'm going to heat this up to 400 so while I'm doing that, I'm going to get my, my rub. So what I did was I melted some coconut oil. It's about two tablespoons. And I added um, a teaspoon of cinnamon to it. So I'm going to coat each of them. Put this up on high. And turn it on. And it heats up really fast. Okay. And I'm gonna coat each of the stalks of the pineapple into my little concoction. Now, Alex, how do you make yours? Um, like you said before, like it doesn't really need extra sugar because pineapple is already sweet. I yeah, tend yeah. to use a little bit more of the riper side of the pineapple, but putting it straight on the grill comes out so good. It's like when you when you make like the hams with uh with the pineapples on it you know how yeah. sweet that pineapple comes out mm -hmm. it comes out just like that yes so okay so i coated it in the mixture i need my little cloth i need my little cloth i coat it in the mixture and now i add a little bit more cinnamon to it before i put it in the pan y'all see what i did no you didn't because i didn't move it down good thing why did i just put garlic powder <laughs> Oh, that would have been like bad. It was right next to the cinnamon. Woo! So, ah, so what we're gonna do is <laughs> we're going to. But luckily, it was only on the top of the pineapple. It didn't get into my cinnamon sauce. That would have been really bad. Okay, so we start again. So I'm just gonna coat this and add a little bit more cinnamon to it. Yeah, and I use coconut oil. Some people use butter. Um, it's fine. Um, so cinnamon, right? Okay, I have to double check. Just add a little bit more cinnamon. All right. Yeah, nice. All right. So Your place is going to smell amazing. After I know. <laughs> Let's see. So I put one down. Now I'll have to put the second one down. So, oh, no. and this it's is gonna time. cook for about four minutes on each side. And you know, if you had the the grill pan, you would lower it and it kind of sears it a little bit even more, but this is, is fine for our purposes. So again, I have two pieces. And yeah, the, when you cut the pineapple closer to the outer core in the skin, it's not as sweet as the middle. So, yeah. Uh, Carrie, are, did you cut the core out or do you have the core in there? I cut it out. Okay. Yeah, I cut it out. So. All right, so we're gonna make our pineapple spears. Let me look at the, you know what? Let me add a little bit more cinnamon to this. I'm gonna look at my clock. Because I have one more thing to show you while this is cooking. Okay, this is good. All right, so that was about, I think that was two minutes or one minute. Yeah, that was quick. That was like two minutes. All right. So I'm going to set it for just two more minutes because I don't want to forget. All right. All right. And so while that is caramelizing, I wanted to talk about something else that you could do with your leftover pineapple. So we use very few ingredients today. We use fish, 
pineapple, cabbage, uh, yogurt, um, and the tortilla shells, and you know, tomatoes. Um, and by the way, I added some more literature. Did you get it, Alex? I had said it earlier, and I forgot to ask if you got all of the attachments. Uh, you mean recipes? Yeah. Uh, no, I didn't get it. Same, same okay. Uh, so I'll, I'll send it to you before this is over. Yeah. Um, but there's something called the Clean 15 and the Dirty Dozen. And so I attached a little link with literature about that. And what that is, has anybody ever heard of that before? The Clean 15? So what that is, is the USDA comes out every year with a list of 15 fruits and vegetables that have a high residue of pesticides and toxins on them. And then yeah. 12 that are considered not so bad, right? That you don't have to necessarily buy organic or thoroughly wash. So, like banana. I saw in the news the other day, the banana's yeah. on the list. So you don't have to buy organic um, right, banana. Right, right. Yeah. So it's important when we talk about eating healthy economically that we think about eating some of the other fruits and vegetables that are on the clean 15. Uh, and so everything was on the clean 15 today that we talked about except for the tomatoes, okay? So the tomatoes, the skin is so thin that a lot of you can't, the pesticides get in there. So if you use the tomatoes, you can wash it with a bath of vinegar, white vinegar for like 15, 20 minutes. Um, so I would recommend that. All right. So now I'm going to flip this over and you can see, look at the beautiful grill marks already. And it does smell amazing in here. All so, that um, sweet pineapple and the cinnamon. Oh man, it must smell amazing. <laughs> yes, heavenly, heavenly. So I want to show you something else that you can do because I talked about making a beverage. So using the ingredients that we had, I still want to stay in budget. And something that I started making was pineapple infused water. So I took the leftover pineapple and I'm going to show you what I did. So, and I have some here. So, so I made, I made this container and it contains mint, and pineapple and just some water and some ice and this should stay in the fridge for at least an hour so that all of the flavors infuse but this is a great drink that you can have and of course it's economical the main ingredient is water um and mint and the pineapple you are already using the pineapple for the other things also the pineapple you could also add to your tacos so we're about to eat our tacos um, you can add some of these extra pineapple. I tried to make do with use every bit of the pineapple that I could. Okay. Carrie, so, Carrie, you made a detox. That's like a detox. Yes, kind of thing. it's a detox. Um, that meal is a beneficial meal. meal. <laughs> yes. Yes. The, the, the pineapple infused water is mm -hmm. a detox. Um, and it also tastes good. So, mm -hmm. and it's also cheap. Yeah. So. All right, so these are done. I'm gonna turn this off and let them cool. So you can look and see how beautiful they came out. And wasn't that simple? Like, yeah. real simple. So the, this is my leftover pineapple. And I wanna show you the key because I was making the infused water and it wasn't, I wasn't getting a lot of flavor. And so I thought, oh, maybe I have to sit longer. So I, I realized from a bartender, no less, that you had to muddle it, did you? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I didn't know this. So um, so I'll just show you. If you don't know, I'm going to show you really quick. I'll use this glass. Okay. Mojitos. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. For my business. <laughs> That's right. You got to muddle it for the mojito. That's right. So um, and let me take the mint. So I just wanted to show you. So if you have the mint, uh, the mint, let me move this down. Okay, can you, let me move this over. All right, let me move this. 
So, so with the mint, what you can do is if you add it to the bottom and I'll just tear it off the stem a little bit. Okay. okay. Yeah, um, breaking those up helps release like the flavor. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, it really does. So I just got this and you could use the, the back end of a, a wooden spoon or anything. Um, and I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna do this a little bit because you don't want to overdo it because it'll release. No. So I did about three times. I have an expert here. Go ahead, tell me. <laughs> yes, yes, because this is me. I became Cola became a bartender. Has so many. I'm like a janky ball trade now. Yes. Yes. So if you do that in the bottom of your, so I used a a picture like this. So if you put the mint on the bottom, mm -hmm. um, now do you do the mint separately um, or do you put the, cause some people put the, the herbs separately from the actual fruit. What do you do? do, you do? I mix them together. Do yeah, I, I do it together too when I do it. Okay, so let's see, I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna add this on top and infuse it a little bit more. And I'm gonna leave some in case want to add it to tacos. tacos so yeah so this was major for me so game changer yeah because mm -hmm. i was like it doesn't taste like my friends so she gave me the little yeah. shit. Because so, some, if you keep it whole, you usually have to wait like a whole day for it to actually taste no, like it. But, yeah, if you yeah. but if you want it quick, you muddle it. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this you add to a pitcher with ice and water and you let it sit. Um, and then you have your delicious drink like this. And so, and let me pull, let me, let me take out my. I'll make my water tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so you're ready i'm glad all right so we're gonna put our pineapple on the plate and let me turn that off pull the plug so so here we have behind us so we have everything we have our fish asparagus Y'all are too far away. All right, I'm going to move this. <laughs> I'm going to move this so you can see. All right. Who the thing, Debbie? All right. Carry no. Can be careful. Be careful. <laughs> be careful, Okay, I'm running out of space. All right. Let's see. All right, I'm going to move this over here. All right, so let's show you the meal that we created. So we have our fish, let me move this to the side. We have our grilled pineapple, we have our coleslaw, we have our fish sauce, we have our pico de gallo, and we have our extra pineapple. So we have a complete meal and it didn't take yeah. that long. No. Um, so this is something that's quick, delicious, easy to make, full of vitamins and minerals. And we have our drink. Let's not forget our drink. So, and all with all of this was less than, it was $12. It was eleven seventy one. So for under twelve dollars, you could create this meal. Um, and depending on how hungry folks are, <laughs> it could feed between three, two to three people. You know, maybe four. So yeah, it's something that's economical um, that you can whip up really quickly. So I, I have to plate it. All right. So where's my? Oh, I kept my. It's warm. Okay. All right, so I have my hotel oh, is here. Kerry, do you heat up that that tortilla or you? Yeah, I had put it on the grill. 
and put it to the side. Okay. Yeah, so it's nice and warm now. And so I'm going to layer it first. I'm going to layer it with the coleslaw. Let me move it down a little bit. With the coleslaw. Okay. And then I'm going to put... Now, it's up to you if you want to use the, the whole piece. Half. It depends on how hungry you are. So I'm going to take... I'm going to start with half. And let's see. So I'm going to put the fish on and you can break it up into little pieces. Um, okay. So I use my fingers. So, so I have the fish. All right. All right. Then we're going to put the pico de gallo on top. Okay. And then we're going to put the fish sauce. So again, this is just Greek yogurt and a little mayonnaise and a little water. So make it liquidy. Like a crema. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, some people ask me, what's the difference between Greek yogurt and regular yogurt? It's a thicker consistency. Higher in protein, less sugar. So and it's better for your your, your gut, right? Your overall. Yes, your gut health, right? Because it contains probiotics. Yes. So we have that. Um, so you might want to put a little lemon on top. I have some right here that I can squeeze. A little lime. So I put my lime in here. Use lemon also. Oh, and you may want to put a little bit more salt on here, maybe. And that's it. So that's our our fish taco. And now let's see how it tastes. All right. Yeah. Now let me be as neat as possible. Hmm. <laughs> I know I'm hungry. So yeah, so you can, you know, I made tacos for my husband. I was so proud of myself. Not fish tacos, I made out of vegetarian tacos. And I said, how were they? He took them to work. I said, how were they? He said, they were good. I said, okay, you want me to make it again for you next week? He said, no. I said, why? He said, it was a lot of work. I said, what do you mean? He said, you got to put this layer and that layer. <laughs> too much. So I don't mind the work. So, all right, let's see how it tastes. And that's a pretty big taco too, because if you mm -hmm. get that stuff from like, let's say one of these restaurants, they give you one of these little tacos that probably won't even fill you up either. Mm -hmm. And you for probably ten, spend, for, and you for probably spend exactly well, like two pieces. Two pieces of meat, and that's it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, she enjoying that because. <laughs> Thank you, Terry. <laughs> what I have company. <laughs> let, me get, let me clean up the face. Is that... <laughs> now I'm hungry. When I have exactly. Out, I'm definitely making this one. I have a bag of. I was getting hungry watching. I'm watching her cook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. Really, really easy to make, tastes good. When we come off, I'll eat the rest. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna try to find out from them. So, really nice and soft. You know, if my mother was here, she would say, use a knife and fork. <laughs> so, in honor of my mom, I use a knife and fork and be safe. <laughs> The taco, though. Mm -mm. Yeah, we ain't doing that. That's, that's like sacrilegious. <laughs> You're supposed to eat that by hand. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's like, like that's like a that's rule. Like, I know. That's like people eating mm. chicken wings with a, a knife and fork. Like, really? <laughs> it tastes really good. Like, it's so intensified. You know, because the pineapple is sweet. But when you caramelize it, it just, mm, yeah. delicious. But I can't okay. have too much of this. Oh, mm. and then you can also put, you know, the leftover pineapple into the, I forgot about that, into our fish taco. 
Oh, nice. Harry, oh, I forgot. Harry question. Yeah. Say okay, you don't have an indoor grill and you have a, um, what you call it? The air fryer. Can we do something similar in the air fryer? Oh, you can definitely, I don't, it would take, it would be good. You can definitely put tilapia into the air fryer. I just don't know the timing and everything. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but uh, tilapia air fried or fish air fried is delicious. I have a friend, he swears by it and he puts everything in the air fryer, including his yeah. own food. I didn't know you could do all that. I heard, I know you can eat. So it just messed me up with if that. You the, if you have the one that's the bowl, <laughs> yeah, like you could put a bowl in. You can't do that because you could bake cake in it also. Well, yeah, if yeah. I can. Yeah. He puts, he swears by it. Um, and he lost 32 pounds. So, okay. Yeah. okay. I fried um, plantains in the air fryer. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, I've done that too before. Mm -hmm. It's a matter of um, because a lot of the air fryers they'll come with like instructions on on eating times and how long you should be cooking mm -hmm. stuff. Because I know there is a big difference between using that air fryer and the oven. The oven mm -hmm. will take a lot longer. That air fryer will cook mm -hmm. it in like mm -hmm. less than half the time. Yeah, yeah. So do your research about how, but it would definitely be um, less oil. Yes. Fast yeah. and easy and delicious. So yeah, definitely do that. So, all right. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to send, Alex, should I send it to you, the links? Yeah, you can send them to, you can send send it to me and I'll, I will get it up. Okay, so I'll send it to you now so that you have it. Anybody have any questions, anything about nutrition? What's your, oh, what's your email address? Um, it's... Oh, hold on one second. Let me get in first. Okay. Any day now. All right. Okay. Well, in the meantime, yeah. I would like to thank everybody that joined us today for this LYL Healthy Grilling Session. I know I learned a couple of things that I definitely want to try out this summer. Yes, <laughs> definitely do. I don't even have to go outside and it's good too because I don't, I don't, I live in an apartment myself. So at least I can try to do some stuff at home. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Okay, I'm ready for your email. It's A Fontanez, F O N T A N E Z. Okay. Yeah, oh. I know I got a long last name. It came up. Okay, so I'm going to put um, grill links. So, but anybody have any questions? about anything health-wise? Well, the tilapia, gonna, go ahead. Go I said, ahead. I'm definitely gonna try the grilled pineapple because I've never ever heard of that, so. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. And um, yeah, like Alex was saying, the tilapia, I mean, the tilapia, see, I'm back to tilapia in my mind. The peaches are also great to yeah. grill. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Just coat it with a little bit of oil. You don't have to use a lot, just a little bit. And then, um, yeah. It, it's it's really good and if something about that 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 heat and the caramelization gives it like mm -hmm. a depth of flavor that is like it's amazing and oh. i don't think you probably won't even go back to eat regular food after that you'll be like oh i gotta go. <laughs> yeah <laughs> you put it on top of some ice cream vanilla ice cream yes mm. but that's the bad way COVID. Look, this is this is the COVID <laughs> Listen, right if we, now. If we gonna COVID. do if we're gonna do something, we are gonna do something wrong. We are gonna do it all the way. <laughs> okay. I know, right? <laughs> okay, Alex, I sent you. I just forwarded what I sent to Sandrine earlier because I didn't realize there wasn't an attachment. The links were in the email, so I just forwarded it to you so you can ignore the other stuff. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie, for showing us and guiding us today. This was amazing. Yes. I know I got a couple of things I'm gonna try out. And wow. we look forward to hearing more from you in the future. Thank you. Nice Thank you so much for Thank having you, me. Thank you, Carrie. Happy summer. Same See to you. Too. Enjoy. Be safe.